Good morning, good morning, Maganjanu Maga, Konnichiwa, Bonjour. So today I'm probably gonna make two or three videos um, about this topic of Mother's Day. Uh, I don't necessarily celebrate any of man's traditions, uh, but when somebody uh, wishes me a happy anything, whether it be Easter, Christmas, Mother's Day, whatever, I just say thank you. I, I'm not the type of person who um, is like, oh, I don't celebrate that. Ah. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, it makes for an awkward situation and when you're saying that you represent the Lord Jesus Christ you're just very careful about how you represent the Lord because um, you realize the importance of your testimony so any event um, I'm gonna try to make these videos less than 10 minutes but I can't see a timer and so I'm guesstimating. <laughs> Anyhow, um, Mother's Day. So again, it's not something I really acknowledge. Um, it, the only thing it does is it reminds me of, um, of the ignorant choices that I have made, um, throughout my life as being a mother and with having new eyes to see how the Lord was having mercy upon me and upon my children even though I made very poor choices that endangered their lives. Um, I'll give you small examples that maybe I answered a call on the cell phone while I'm driving in a car and my children are in the back seat or um, when I was ignorant about um, having them jabbed their um, vax when they were young children not really knowing that I was harming my children, stuff like that, that when you have new eyes to see and you look over your life, or when I allowed my children to watch Disney films and um, just too much TV, where I stuck them in front of a screen because it was easier to do, that uh, being a single mom, when I was divorced my girls were seven and three years old they were very young so and I was a full-time mom and I was working full-time so um, a lot of times at the end of the day while I was cooking dinner and doing laundry and cleaning the house and whatever I would stick them in front of a screen and um, because I adapted them to such a lifestyle, my girls, um, they're 24 and 19 now, they are addicted to screens completely. Um, there's really, I would say, at least 80% of the day they're in front of a screen. And as a mom, Witnessing that now, it's heart-wrenching because I know that they're being spiritually led. So as having eyes to see of, you know, me being a young mother when they were little, I was being spiritually led to think that it wasn't a big deal at the time to stick them in front of a screen. Um, everything. This is a spiritual warfare. When you understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, Ephesians 6.12, that 
everything, every decision, every thought, every action is being spiritually, spiritually, <laughs> spiritually, <laughs> spiritually led towards Christ, that it's of Christ or anti-Christ. And throughout your entire testimony, your entire life, most of the decisions that you made was anti-Christ. And um, to see how much I was enslaved by other spirits, to see how much I was influenced um, to rebel against the Lord and to make bad decisions and to be a liar, um, it look, looking back, I, it just makes, it's very humbling to know that the Lord um, wasn't very far and that the Lord, no matter how far I fell into darkness, the Lord still held out his hand to me and was willing to forgive me for all my inequities, for all, all my um, shameful behavior, for all my ignorance, for all the words I've ever said that was against um, the Lord, even though I wasn't necessarily cursing him, but I was doing everything that was not of Christ. So this is part one. I'll get into um, talking about other things um, and experiences as being a mother and loving my children from afar because this is how it's designed. I know that there are a lot of people, even if you don't have children, and you have family members or people that are close to you that right now um, you're being tested by the fire and learning how to love people from afar because think about it this way. Christ, when you were, before you were born again, the Lord loved you from afar that the Lord was watching you um, harm yourself. Um, the Lord was watching you be a murderer, a liar. The Lord was watching you struggle and make bad decision after bad decision and he had to love you from afar because he gave us free will. He gave us free will and we ran amok with it. We took our inheritance and we spent it on whores, meaning that we, we were taking our free will and we were doing all these things, being influenced by other spirits, not knowing because we didn't have eyes to see. And we were in complete darkness and we were the walking dead. We were dead in Christ. And imagine as a parent being able to, you know, see that and having to love your child from afar. Well, this, we're experiencing what our, what our father experienced with us, with our own children, with our own family members, with those that we love in our life, that we're loving them from afar while we're watching them murder themselves so i love you again this is part one i'm trying to cut it really short i have to go clean an airbnb but i'll do part two and possibly part three later on um, today i love you and god bless